This guide will walk you through some of the steps you can take to improve Lightroom Classic responsiveness on a Macintosh system. I'm Art and Art is right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. I have released a guide on how to improve Photoshop graphic performance and responsiveness. It is one that works for both Mac and PC. I'll leave a link to it up here and below so you can check that out. This guide is for Lightroom Classic. And particularly what I'm about to show you apply more to Mac users than to PCs. However, some of the settings I'm about to go in and change in Lightroom will also apply to PC users too. So you can definitely try this out. So if you're on a Macintosh system and you have a higher resolution display link up to your system, this is anything 4K or above, the 5K built-in iMac or even the Apple 6K display. Or if you have a Mac with a slower video card, for instance, I'm using my 2013 Mac Pro that has dual D500 video card because you will definitely see the lag on this one. Something to note as well is that on my expensive Mac Pro that I have right now running on Intel Xenon, I have the Apple Radeon Vega 64 with 32 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory on that video card and it's linked to a dual 4K display. The same graphic performance as I'm getting here. I'm seeing a lot of lags and the moment I go in and change these settings, it does improve a lot. Macintosh does a few things differently when it goes in to scale the display. And it is important for a higher resolution display because if you have to run 4K display native like this or 5 or 6K, it makes the experience really difficult because everything is small and tiny and the texts are hard to read. So scaling is important. But what I'm gonna do first is show you that I'm running on 4K native right now and I'll go into system preferences display. This is the SW271C right now, but this is the same behavior on a Macintosh system and it doesn't matter if you have a BenQ or any other display hook up to the system. So right now this is set to 3840 by 2160 4K native. Next up, what I'm gonna do is go into Lightroom program and Lightroom classic menu, catalog setting. I'm going to visit this catalog setting dialog a few times. So this is the only time I'll show you how to access this. The next time what I will do is use the shortcut key option command comma to access this dialog, but you can know that it's here. If you're a PC user, this is under the edit catalog setting menu. All right, that being said, if you are a event or a wedding photographer like me, having to go through hundreds if not thousands of images at a time, going to color grade them in sequence can be really annoying if something is really slow and it really slows down the process and your flow of work. So I'll show you this right now, starting with catalog setting. By default, Lightroom has this set up to standard preview size. It's on automatic and it's based on the display resolution or the scaling that you have set. The preview quality is set to medium and those are the two metrics here that we are going to be worried about and concern ourselves with. So what I'm gonna do first is close this out. This is the default setting and I'm gonna show you how slow editing can be. Another thing to remember is that this is really going to apply mostly to library module when you're using the quick develop menu because in library module and quick develop, Lightroom is using the standard preview size parameter that you set to generate the preview. If you do most of your editing in develop module, it's not really going to make too much of a change if you go in and change the setting that I'm, as I'm about to show. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go in and change a few things. You will notice right away that the moment I click on exposure, I'm still waiting for it to change and finally it did, right? I'll go in and make this image a little bit cooler and again, there is that noticeable pause before the preview is rendered. This is really slow. So if I have to go in on an image like this and edit them, and as you know right now, I'm pressing all these buttons and the program have yet to generate me a preview. It's still showing loading on the bottom. And this is gonna take a while for it to apply all those settings. This is really slow. Again, going through one or two images like this is perfectly fine. Having to go through hundreds if not thousands, this can be annoying really quickly. And one other thing I want to mention too is that all these images have one-to-one -one preview generated for them already. So how can we fix this problem? Well, let's go into catalog setting one more time under the file handling tab. And what we're gonna do here is change the 
standard preview size. So rather than using the display resolution because I have all these graphic on the side and everything anyway, it's not really using that full length of my graphic card or what I'm showing on the screen anyhow. So it really doesn't matter. What I'm gonna do is this, and this is something that I have set up that works really well. The first thing that I do is come in here and change this to 2880. And you can set the quality preview to medium right now and it'll work just fine. So let's go to a new image and I'll show you what happens. So I'm gonna start to click and make some changes right now. And you can see that, oh my goodness, is becoming much more responsive, right? So changes are happening much faster, although it is still showing that loading thing on the bottom. This is much quicker than it was before. If you go in and change, for instance, preview quality down to low, you will also see a slight improvement in the way how the previews are generating as well. So for example, I'll show you that now. You can see that it's a lot quicker, a lot faster, and it's showing you less of that loading thing that's coming up. Now that's still happening at times, but it is much less pronounced than it was before. So we can go through and edit our images quite quickly. This is running at 4K native. If you have a 4K or higher resolution display, you're not running at 4K native. So the one resolution scaling in a Macintosh system that I found work best for something like this is to set your display to the equivalent of 2K resolution. And if you go into display setting on a Macintosh system, this is on Mojave. So if you're on Catalina or Big Sur, it's gonna be in a different location, but it's still under the display menu. And if you come in here on the display tab, you will see that there's all these options. The 2K equivalent resolution is usually the second one from the left. And if you hover over it, you will see that this is equivalent to, or it says like 2560 by 1440. This is the option that I'm going to choose. And you will see that Lightroom is now going to fly through these edits. You can choose some of the other ones too. For example, if you want to choose the 3008 by 1692, you can certainly do that. Or the 3360 by 1890, that is an option that you can choose. But if you want the fastest performance, the 2K equivalent one, it's going to yield you the best result. I've just rescaled my display to a 2K equivalent. As you can see, this is showing like 2560 by 1440. I'll go back into Lightroom and I'll start out with the catalog setting. So in a catalog setting right now, my standard preview size is still set to 2880, which gives us amazing graphic responsiveness, right? But if we click on here, we can see that auto Rather than going down from the 3840 4K native, it actually is going up. Why is this happening? And that is because the way how Apple scales the operating system is that if you choose anything less than 4K, it's not doing the scale down automatically. What it's doing first is that it's doubling the resolution on all the axes, so both the X and the Y, and then it's squeezing those down. And that is the reason why you're seeing the auto number going higher. So if you're running on a Macintosh in scale resolution and you have this set on auto, just imagine this. If you would have gone in into the setting, for example, this one right here, 3360 by 1890, it's equivalent of taking 3360 multiplied by two. So you're looking at over 6,700 pixels that Lightroom has to generate. That is going to cause a lot of slowdown because now you're previewing and rendering a much larger pixel base than what I have set, which is 2880. All right, that caveat out of the way, what we're gonna do now is leave everything the way how I have set up, 2880 preview size pixels and the preview quality. Let's set that to low for now. I'll go into the next picture, for example, this one, and back into library, and I'll click on these settings, and you will notice that this is now flying by, showing me the settings and the changes that I'm dialing it in instantaneously. This is going to make going through events or weddings with hundreds or thousands of images much quicker than you can imagine. So you're not really waiting for the program to be responsive to you anymore. It's just pretty much there. It's working the way how it is supposed to. Now I have gone in and set the catalog setting preview quality to low. If you do sunset shots, for instance, or anything with like a deep blue sky, you may notice sometime that on a low quality preview, you get a lot of banding in that sky, digital posterization. If you notice that happening, you can simply just go into the develop module and it will show you the exact rendering of how your edit is going to look like. But if that really bothers you, one thing that you can do here is change the preview quality back to medium. And I'll close this out. 
And you will still see that it is still responsive, much more than it was before when we were trying to run at the higher resolution or choosing a higher resolution preview. I'll show you this right now. So you can still see that this is really just going through and it's making the adjustment as soon as I'm clicking these buttons. So you can certainly choose to use medium or low quality preview, but definitely go in and change the resolution to 2880. And if you're on a Macintosh system, don't forget to scale your resolution down to a 2K 2560 by 1440 equivalent. If you watch my Macintosh 4K scaling video, I mentioned that I dynamically change my resolution throughout the day depending on what I'm doing. For instance, if I'm running on some type of scale resolution because I like more screen real estate and if I just launch Lightroom to do a quick casual edit, one or two pictures to quickly export, I wouldn't necessarily come in here and change the resolution to a 2K equivalent because I do like the screen real estate that the other scaling mode has to offer. So web browsing, video editing, I would use all the other scaling mode, including Photoshop work too. However, if I'm coming into Lightroom to do an extensive edit, for example, editing an event or a wedding where I'm working on hundreds if not thousands of images at a time, I would definitely come in here and change my resolution to a 2K equivalent first because as you saw in this guide, the speed and the responsiveness for Lightroom has improved significantly when you run it in a 2K equivalent mode. I hope that you find this helpful. Questions or comment, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified, and until next time, in Art We Trust.